Hello everyone, God bless you all for watching. In case you are new here, hi, my name is Chantel and welcome to It's Chantel's Adventure. So today I'm going to be preaching a very, very important message. So please take it seriously and listen, listen keenly for everything that I'm going to say for this, for this video. Father, Lord, I thank you for this day. I thank you for the gift of life and I thank you for the gift of protection. As I preach this message that you gave me, I pray that you may speak to your children, that you may speak through me, and that you may, may deliver and restore your children. That as they listen to this message, that they may also repent as I'm going to be preaching today. In Jesus' name, Amen. God bless you all for watching. Today I'm going to be preaching an important message on repentance. Now judgment time is near, and you should be ready. Be ready because Jesus is coming back and you should repent. To start us off, I'm going to go to Matthew 25, verse 1 to 13. Matthew chapter 25, verse 1 to 13. The parable of the ten virgins. This is the NIV version. At that time, the kingdom of heaven will be like ten virgins who took their lamps and went out to meet the bridegroom. The kingdom of heaven. At that time, the kingdom of heaven will be like ten virgins who took their lamps and went out to meet the bridegroom. Five of them were foolish and five were wise. The foolish ones took their lamps but did not take any oil with them. The wise, however, took oil in jars along with their lamps. And they all became drowsy and fell asleep. So there were ten virgins, five were foolish and five were wise. So the foolish ones, they carried their lamp which had some oil inside and did not carry an extra oil in a jar. But for the wise ones, they carried their lamp. And they <coughs> Sorry, the wise, however, took oil in jars and their lamps along with them. And the bridegroom was in a long time in coming and they all became drowsy and fell asleep. At midnight, the cry rang out, here's a bridegroom, come out to meet him. So when it reached midnight, the cry rang out, Here's a bedroom, come out to meet him. Then all the virgins woke up and trimmed their lamps. The foolish ones said to the wise, Give us some of your oil. Our lamps are going out. So the foolish ones, as I said, they never had an extra oil. So they asked the wise ones, Can you please help us with some oil? Our lamps are going out, sorry. Our lamps are going out. No, they replied, there might not be enough for both of us and you. So the wise ones, they said no, because it won't be enough for the wise ones and for the foolish ones as well. Instead, go to those who sell oil and buy some for yourselves. So the wise ones told the foolish ones, go, and buy, go, go to the shop and buy some oil. But while they were on their way to buy the oil, the bridegroom arrived. When they went to buy the oil, remember they didn't have any extra oil. So the wise ones were there waiting for the bridegroom and the foolish ones, they, they went and the bridegroom arrived. The virgins who were ready went in with him to the wedding banquet and the door was shut. So the wise ones were ready and they went with the bridegroom to the wedding banquet and the door was shut. Later, the others also came. Sir, sir, they said, open the door for us. So when they arrived a bit later, when they had already shut the door, they asked, sir, sir, please open the door for us. We went to, maybe maybe they said, we went to buy some oil and because our lamps were not ready. But, but he replied, I tell you the truth, I don't know you. Therefore, keep watch because you do not know the day or the hour. So in this case, in my understanding, we are the ten virgins and Jesus is a bridegroom. We should keep watch because you do not know the day that Jesus will come. You don't know the hour that will come. You don't know if he will come tomorrow, next year, today at night. You know, No one knows, only Jesus himself knows when he's going to come. So you should be ready. Stay holy, stay in God's will, and let God use you. Let you stay. Don't 
don't just because i'm saying this as jesus is coming back judgment time is near it doesn't mean that you just stay holy for right now then you see jesus is not coming and you say ah, ah chantel was lying to us jesus is not coming today or tomorrow ah, let's just go back to doing uh, let's just go back to doing our worldly things so they'll go back and then you don't you never know the next minute jesus may, might come and they won't go with jesus in heaven so if listen to this message practice it and don't just practice it because i've said so let it be a hobby holiness and repentance should be something should be you you say the salvation pair and go back to your old ways there's no point of saying the salvation pair if you know that you're going to go back to your old ways make sure you when you say the salvation prayer you repent don't do the all these worldly things like right now me myself before i joined princess belemzi ministry school of power I used to watch TikTok or listen to all this music, but now I don't because God has delivered me, God has restored me, and this should be something that all of you should do. You listen to this message and don't take it seriously. You may be like, so we are not saying money. What is she saying now? What is she saying now? You should make sure that once you see the salvation prayer, repent and don't go back to your old ways. We're going to go to the Matthew chapter 24 verse 44. So you also must be ready because the son of man will come at an hour when you do not expect him. You must be ready because Jesus Christ will come at an hour when you don't know, when you don't expect him. Like he might come the next minute, you never know. And in Revelation, Revelation chapter 22 verse 12, Look, I am coming soon. My reward is with me, and I will give to each person according to what they have done. Jesus is saying that he is coming soon. His reward is with him, and he will give to each person according to what we have done. So if you have been staying holy, reading your Bible, praying every day, praising him, worshiping God, Jesus will Jesus will take you. You will go to heaven. But then if you are not, if you continue doing all these worldly things, like like listening to these worldly songs, all these things, you might listen to this, some of you will listen to this message and not take it seriously. But you have to take it seriously because Jesus is going to come and you won't be ready. Like those foolish ones, they're from the parable of the ten virgins, they were, they were not ready when the bridegroom came. And this is, so were the ten virgins and Jesus is the bridegroom. So the foolish ones were the people who never, who never repented. But the wise ones are the people who repented. So they went in with Jesus, with the bridegroom. And the foolish ones who never, pre, who never repented, they, the door was shut for them. And the bridegroom told them, I tell you the truth, I do not know you. Romans chapter 6 verse 23 For the wages of sin is death but the gift of God is eternal life in Christ Jesus our Lord The wages of sin is death so if you sin and Jesus comes you will die but if you are holy stay holy for God stay in God's will the gift your gift will be eternal life in Christ Jesus our Lord Now like apostle princess Belemzi she had 